Hi guys and welcome at my channel. This is we can say the part two of how to take off the heat shield of the Intel processor and I have update now the video. I have uh, got an idea. I had this idea long ago also but it was a bit bother cooling. Um, you can take this part out here you see. So this is the mechanic that closed that CPU, you can say, and um, you just need something like this here, yeah. and uh, then you can open the screws here, and uh, see, you can open that screws here, and then you can take this off. Um, you can, when you do this, you have now the uh, the option that you can cool this uh, CPU now without the heat sink we can say yes so we can let him out I will test it now I already have tested sometimes and I have look if it has contact or not and it has contact you can also here you can go on here I don't know what cooler you have yeah but um, like on this cooler here um, so wait Like on this cooler here, I've just take with sandpaper. I've put him a bit more down. You see, I have here this um, this small plastic things here, like you can see, yeah. And with sandpaper, I have uh, yeah, make them a little bit smaller so the cooler gets a bit more down. Yeah, I'm really surprised how the results will be because um, mostly. Um, it gets cooler when it has no heat shield yeah and long ago all CPUs was like that if you can remember the the old CPUs the first ones they had no heat uh, no heat shield they was all we can say open and um, yeah they did that uh, just for secure I think that the CPUs gets a bit, um, we can say, protected and uh, when the cooler is not running also then uh, the CPU will not die that fast but so so the the newest motherboards they, yeah, we can say they are intelligent and they notice when the CPU gets too hot and then shut it, they shut it off that's no problem ok guys, now I have put the CPU back without the heat shield and like you can see I have done now the thermal compound over there and yeah I will close it now and then I will test of course I'm very surprised I think this will be a bit better because the CPU now gets directly cool it and uh, it's always better if you have the as to have the heat shield between because the heat shield is again a bit more metal and yes Okay guys, I will keep going on and I will test it. So guys, I've pulled it together now without the heat shield. Um, you can see the heat shield now. And um, the CPU holder or closer or however it calls this thing here. And um, yes, I've talked this out. Here's the CPU, like you can see. it's an i7-920 like I told and yeah I've took it out and now it's inside without the heat shield and yeah I will let it run I'll, I will let it run now for a bit and then I will play and I will do some tests with Prime and yeah a lot more yeah I'm really surprised what uh, results will come out but I think of course better than with heat shield so guys like you can see here we already have now the test 11 and after that we can say it's already finished and it was stable till now and you can see here I'm running that now at uh, 3 gigahertz and this only with one volt <laughs> yeah it's just amazing I'm really happy and here as you can see the maximum temperatures was 57 and uh, yeah it's really really totally 
volcano. And I had, I could not uh, uh, do that before with the heat shield. I had uh, to run uh, 3 gigahertz at uh, 102 or something like that. And for 302 gigahertz I, ha I have need uh, before 1025 volts. And like you can see now here it runs totally stable and this only with 1 volt. And that's why it's also much cooler. I was here about um, 72 uh, Celsius degrees. Wait, my monitor. So, and um, now it's really totally stable. And like you can see the first test is passed and it will now come here and there uh, will come also that this uh, self test is passed and a lot of people and guys let this test also run for 24 hours or 2 days but this is totally uh, it's full enough this here and uh, if it's stable then it runs all the tests here and if it's not stable then mostly at the test number 3 it g you get blue screens and whatever but it's fully normal and you should not let this run so so long because this is really hardcore for your main board and processor for the CPU and all it gets really hot the the hardware here okay i will do this the same for the yeah my battery goes off i will the same i will do this also for 302 gigahertz here and uh, yeah then we can say we are already finished so guys and now it's running at 302 gigahertz like you can see and uh, also still <laughs> not that much voltage like you can see 10056 volts that's nothing <laughs> and I really had need before before I have take this uh, hit shield um, it was really um, here at 1025 running and uh, I had to go so much up because it was not possible to run at 302 gigahertz like you can see here and um, yeah that's why I'm really now very very happy because when I have take the heat shield off I was still at 1025 volts at 302 gigahertz yeah and the temps was not changing it was yeah not better but also not so great it was we can say the same but now I have noticed like I told I have tried a lot of things and I have really wondering that I could go so much uh, with the volts down and as more you go down as more as the, the temperature will fall see and it's really falls so much down and here it's not going over to, um, 62 like you can see yeah it's just perfect <coughs> and let me see now here um, like you can see it's a long time running this time here and uh, we have the other tests now you can let it run like you want but I, I tell you it's fully enough when you let the first um, I think the first 12 tests is full enough and when it's not that great overclocked or when it's not that great voltage then it will crash about test 3 or at test 4 yeah so when the voltage is not really great set then mostly you get your blue screens at test 3 or test 4 but like I told you can see here um, it starts at 8 hours and 23 minutes a.m. and it's running now uh, let me see and now it's yeah it's soon nine o'clock in the morning yeah so you can see it's still great I'm fucking really fucking happy <laughs> sorry my language again but I'm really so happy it's like a a present for birthday or like that <laughs> yeah okay guys again for the guys who don't know what I'm talking here about, you need to see the other video how I have removed the heat shield. You can see uh, step by step how to do that. And if you like to do that one day, and you if you have a water cool system or whatever, then you can really, yeah, get fucking great temperatures like you can see. And I'm here at, at air cooling like you can see. And um, here again uh, the 
heat shield of the CPU. Sorry for the bad lights. Yeah, so. But I already have shown you this. And um, <coughs> here the CPU holder that I have took out from the main board. I don't need it anymore. And that's why now the cooler is sitting perfect over the chip without the heat shield. And that's why we have here now um, the great temps and also uh, this great voltage here. Yeah, if you imagine it's it's nothing. It's one volt at 302 gigahertz. Yeah. Just ever some. Really fucking great. Okay guys. I hope you like it and I will keep you know when something is changed or when I have moved a lot more other things. And yeah, like I told I hope you like this all. Feel free to leave me a comment. If you have questions, just ask me. It's no problem. I will answer so fast as I can. And yeah, if you like my work and all, then yeah, subscribe my channel. It would be cool because I'm a crazy guy and I make crazy things. <laughs> Alright guys. See you and like always again, peace up and bye bye.